Distillation In any bar, you will see what are known as spirits on sale. These are alcoholic drinks that have been distilled and made through a process known as distillation. Before we look in detail at each of the different types of spirits that we will find in our bar, it will be useful to look at how the distillation process works and which different spirits are made through this process. To better understand distillation, we'll be looking at the process of distillation, distillation and alcohol, and spirits. Let's get started with the process of distillation. The word distillation means to purify a liquid by vaporizing it. If we vaporize a liquid, it means that we heat it to the point where it is no longer a liquid but a gas. This is the first half of distillation. The second half involves cooling that vapor or gas until it condenses and becomes a liquid again. Let's take a look at an easy example in order to understand distillation. Think about a kettle full of dirty brown water and on the boil. When the water reaches 100 degrees Celsius and starts to boil, steam starts to come out of the kettle. This steam is the vapor that comes from heating a liquid. If you had to hold a cool metal tray against the steam, when the steam hits the metal, it condenses or rectifies and turns back into a liquid on the cool metal surface. If you were to collect all the steam that condenses against the metal, you will notice that the liquid is no longer brown and dirty, but it is clear and has far fewer of the flavors that were in the dirty water in the kettle. The dirty water has been distilled, which results in you collecting a cleaner, clearer liquid at the end of the process. This liquid is called the distillate and is cleaner because when it became a gas, it left behind all the dirt. If this cleaner water, the distillate, were to be put back into an empty kettle and the whole process repeated, you would ultimately end up with an even cleaner and clearer liquid. Each time a liquid is distilled, the result is a cleaner, clearer liquid with less of the colors and flavors that were there in the beginning. You now understand the basics of how distillation works when making spirits. The main differences between the kettle example and real distillation is that instead of water, an alcohol is used. Along with this, instead of using a kettle, what is known as a pot still is used. A pot still is a giant copper pot which is able to heat up the alcohol inside it. Now that we understand how the process of distillation works, let's take a look at how distillation works with alcohol. The first thing to know is that alcohol boils at around 78 degrees Celsius, while water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. This means that alcohol will vaporize and become a gas before water does when both are heated. In other words, as the alcohol becomes a gas at 78 degrees Celsius and rises, the water in the alcohol stays behind because it's not hot enough to vaporize yet. This means that each time a spirit is distilled, more water gets left behind, leaving alcohol to make up more of the overall liquid. This raises the percentage of alcohol in the liquid each time distillation takes place. As a rule of thumb, with each distillation, the percentage of alcohol in the liquid will double. So if beer has 4% and is distilled, the resulting distillate will be 8% in alcohol. Another way of saying this is that each time an alcohol is distilled, the more pure it becomes because it has less water in it. Eventually, if you distill it enough, you will end up with a liquid that is nearly 100% pure alcohol, as there will be no water and impurities in it. Most spirits behind the bar are distilled and cut with water until they are about 40 to 42% alcohol. This makes them very pleasant to drink and retains enough of the original flavors to allow your guests to appreciate them beautifully. Finally, let's look at spirits. All of the spirits in your bar are distilled at some point during the journey of making them. Let's take a look at some of the spirits that you will have in your bar. 
in order to create a wide variety of different flavors in spirits, apart from their barrels, a whole range of different base ingredients can be used. The most common bases are grains, for example, rye, corn, wheat, and barley. Bases can even be something like potatoes and beetroots. The main thing to know is that each base ingredient provides a different dominant flavor profile. Let's take a look at some common spirits and their bases. Whiskey. Whiskey is made by distilling a fermented grain based liquid such as beer. Brandy. Brandy is made by distilling a fermented grape based liquid such as wine. Tequila. Tequila is made by distilling a fermented agave based liquid such as agave wine. Rum. Rum is made by distilling a fermented sugarcane based liquid, such as sugar wine. Vodka and gin. Vodka and gin are made by distilling a fermented liquid made from one of a number of bases. These include potatoes, grain, rye, and sugarcane. To recap, in this lesson we looked at the process of distillation distillation and alcohol, and spirits. To see if you were paying attention, can you remember at what temperature alcohol boils? Is it A, 100 degrees Celsius, B, 50 degrees Celsius, or C, 78 degrees Celsius? If you said C, 78 degrees Celsius, you're correct. Well done.